COVID-19 has slowed down the peace process, but the pandemic is not entirely to blame. The, pre -pro uh, the peace process and the peace agreement is limping along and it needs to move much faster. My concern about the delay is that it risks pushing elections out well beyond the timeline of the agreement. This will add to the growing disillusionment amongst communities about whether the political will exists to give South Sudanese citizens the opportunity to choose their leaders. Deploy and what transpired after the course of number of forces leaving these training centres because they have... The role of the government in managing the country's finances is pretty straightforward. Step one, account for the money coming into the country. Step two, account for the, how that money is spent. It's a simple process, but what it requires and depends on is transparency and accountability. And every citizen of this country, as is the case with every other country in the world, has the right to know what is being earned by the state and what is being spent on their behalf. And that information is not available in South Sudan. For a number of years we've had an, an agreement to notify the South Sudan authorities when our peacekeepers move uh, around the countries. We, and we do this because we have a respect for the sovereignty of South Sudan. However, there is no sign of similar respect from the SSPDF for our need to have freedom of movement to protect civilians and to build peace. 